Hi guys, Raul from Simple Wi-Fi and Cell and in this scenario I'm going to walk you through a cellular booster installation inside a 5,000 square foot dealership in Miami, Florida and what we've got here is a problem with cellular connectivity and that's different from Wi-Fi connectivity. Cellular is uh, connecting to your carriers like AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, US, uh, US Cellular. So all these carriers work off of cellular signals that are coming from a cell tower. And that also includes data. So sometimes data and uh, voice are carried over the same signal. So that's AT uh, LTE, that's uh, cellular bands, AWS bands, and PCS bands. So there's four different bands inside the cellular, cellular bands, which are 700 to 2.7 gigahertz. This frequency range is where all the, mo all the cellular carriers are transmitting and receiving for your phone calls and, and uh, internet signal to your phone. Again, this is different from Wi-Fi. All right, so here we are at the outside antenna. I've got an omnidirectional antenna that's 360 degrees. And sometimes you can get away with using a 360 degree antenna, even though it's much lower gain or forward reaching potential, because we are in an urban environment. So typically this area doesn't have any cell phone issues, but this building was just uh, remodeled and made uh, heavily insulated for heat and keeping the cold air in. It's being in Miami, Florida, we want to keep the hot out. And of course, heat insulation and all that heavy materials is going to stop signal from coming in, even if you have a nearby cell tower. So our, our cell tower is only about half a mile away and we have a clear line of sight to it, but we didn't have to use a directional and point at it. We were able to get enough signal from the free air that's bouncing around. We've got towers all around. The omnidirectional was an easy plug and play solution. We didn't have to aim the antenna. We'll have a whole another video on aiming antennas later on. The donor antenna, remember, is what's feeding the system. So right now we're at step one of the process. This is where the outside signal is coming in via thick half inch cable. Sometimes you use a full inch cable, but for most uh, commercial installations and of this size and homes, you'll use a standard 400 type cable that's 50 ohm and this will feed into the amplifier and then reboost it and rebroadcast it through the rest of the system. Now let's go check out the rest of what's going on inside. So one of the ways that you can boost a cellular signal inside of a building like this one is with using a Wilson or a Shurkaw or a high boost amplifier. These amplifiers grab a signal from outside bring it into this box this is going to give more power to the signal that's receiving from the outside antenna and then retransmit that throughout the building in areas where you want more coverage so this amplifier is turned on you can see the green light and this is my outside cable so this is running to the outside and we'll show you what the outside antenna looks like it's often called the donor antenna and then this is feeding signal into the box into the amplifier being boosted and then fed to the indoor side. Now, in the part of this system is where the thought process and the engineering comes into play. Uh, these kits come with one antenna, but in some bigger spaces, if you have a good enough signal outside and a strong enough amplifier, you can add more antennas to your inside so that you can be able to broadcast better signal where you want it most. So a building like this one, you can share signal from this one cable using a combination of splitters and taps to spread signal via cable runs in the ceilings to different areas. So one thing that's important to understand with these amplifiers is that whatever you have outside is what's gonna be able to be boosted inside. If you are in an area that has poor coverage outside, even when you step out and you're getting two or three bars, the best you can ever get inside that building is two to three bars. This system does not magically amplify your signal. It's taking outside air, outside off air signals, so it's called off air transmissions from the cell tower, and then rebroadcasting that through here. So it's, it's bypassing the exterior walls of this building. Whatever is out there is gonna come inside. You're not gonna magically get five bars if all that's available for the system to receive is two or three bars. All right, so here we are at one of the locations for the inside antennas. We have a total of five inside the building. And just on the other side of this wall is the amplifier with the donor signal from the outside uh, antenna feeding into the system. So this antenna just above me is the first drop in, this, like I said, a series of five. And we have a splitter here that's going to be feeding a run down the end of this hallway 
and down this hallway. But we were taking advantage of this drop right here to service this lunchroom and a couple offices in the area. And you always want to try to put these in central locations where most people are going to congregate and also down uh, line of sight paths. So intersections of hallways are always a great location for this because remember line of sight is very important with these cellular systems. So when you're designing these and you're using the different kinds of splitters and taps, take into effect and into account the effect of signal loss as you run signal down cables. Antennas closest to the amplifier are always going to have the most signal and the further you get from the amplifier, especially when you start doing splits and taps along the way, you will have less and less signal. So all that comes into play when you're designing these systems for the best possible coverage. For watching if you like this video please press like down below and subscribe to our youtube channel for more video content like this coming we're going to do tutorials and product explainers on cellular and wi-fi equipment if you have any questions comments or concerns you can comment down below or send us an email at support at simplewifi.com you can also give us a call and speak to one of our usa based tech support agents we're able to do this for you all over the country and we're happy to consult you on any other products that you purchase from us thank you have a good one